Hey, what's up, guys? This is Boon100. I uh, just wanted to do another video for you guys. Uh, this is uh, a kind of review of these uh, 2.4 um, inch wheels um, and tires from Proline Racing um, for 110 scale buggies. I just got them today in the mail. And I uh, wanted to kind of just show you guys what these things look like. And uh, I'll, get it, I'll get them mounted up later so you can see what they look like on an actual vehicle. So, these are a little bit larger in size from your standard 2.2 uh, inch wheels. So apparently that increases, um, well apparently it's just better overall. Um, I'm not really sure, I'll have to drive them and see just how they handle. But I got the um, Electron wheels here, Electron bats, and I got the Electron fronts. And I got the... Uh, these wheels, um, got two sets of wheels, front and back tires, so uh, yeah, this will definitely be uh, pretty interesting to see just how um, just how everything goes and uh, how they mount up and all that, so I will let you guys know in just a minute. Alright, so I got these wheels and tires mounted up here, um, they've already been glued, I was using uh, AKA glue, and um, I've already ran these tires, I ran them at my local track, and I'm going to have to say, um, I really like them. Really sticky compound, uh, great, well, my track was kind of loose, so these, you know, electron tires weren't exactly the best, but even though this wasn't exactly the right tread, the tire still had a lot of traction. A lot actually was traction rolling on loose dirt um, that not completely loose dirt but I was getting some traction rolls I mean these tires definitely um, they definitely stick they definitely have some pretty good traction um, so overall definitely impressed I think I paid uh, I have them mounted on the 2.4 inch uh, velocity wheels from Proline so I think in total I paid about 54 bucks for them, so um, I don't, I don't know. I'm really enjoying these wheels. Actually, they're just they're great. They glued up together nice. Everything went well. Um, haven't had any issues um, with anything in particular on these tires. I don't run them too much except for when I'm at the track. Uh, so. Uh, I think that's really all that there is to say about the performance. Good performance. If you're looking to buy some of these, I would definitely say go for it. Um, you know, just choose the right tread. Uh, the Electron tires, um, I've only ran them once. Uh, I ran it for about two hours or so, and there's not really any noticeable tread wear on the tires either. So they seem to be relatively long lasting. Comparing these 2.4 inch wheels to um, the standard 2.2 inch wheels, I didn't notice much of a difference. Um, they just seemed a little more planted, in my opinion. It didn't, uh, coming off of jumps and things like that, it, it didn't seem as not necessarily wobbly but it, it just it, it landed better it seemed a little bit more planted um, and I hadn't done any changes to the suspension or anything like that it was all the same from what I normally run on this car uh, right now it's sitting kind of low just because I, I haven't been running it for a while um, but other than that uh, everything went together good um, I'll give you kind of a close-up view of this tread pattern here um, so, yeah, and as you can see, it's, uh, a little, they're not noticeably wider, but when you look at them compared to, you know, a standard 2.2 inch wheel, you'll kind of notice, you know, some differences. Um, my AKA tires, I have, I would have them out, but they don't fit to this car anymore. I put J Concepts axles on here, 
which um, these work the same as with the stock axles. So, you know, as long as you buy the you know the right wheel with the right offsets, uh, you'll be fine. Um, but other than that, yeah, great buy. Uh, I would definitely recommend it um, if you're going to be racing on. I think this clay, clay. Yeah, yeah, it's clay definitely. Um, you know, it's overall a good buy. Um, so I think that wraps up everything. This isn't the normal body I run. I usually run my Proline body, but I've just been kind of uh, bashing around. Didn't want to get it dirty. So I have this body on here. And uh, since the last video, I've done a few supplemental things to the car. Um, I put on these RPM ball cups. Um, they seem to be working pretty well. The ball cups that I had kept uh, breaking off. Well, they didn't, they, they, especially in the rear, the standard ones just kept, they were bending and splintering, so I just put these RPM ones on here. I think, I think those will, I think those will hold up. They seem like they, uh, have a lot more durability. I also, on the wing here, put on this, uh, let me take these wing mounts off. These. I have on the J Concepts machined aluminum fancy schmancy wing mounts uh, I just had some spare cash and decided to uh, go with these uh, they flex less than the plastic wing mount so and it's mainly a hop up it just kinda makes your car look blingy um, but in terms of what they are intended to do they do flex less so that's good especially when you're experiencing a lot of downforce in the back um, you're not gonna have that you know flexing backwards um, that you have with the plastic ones and you're also not going to have to worry about durability too much I mean when you flip the car over you're not gonna you're mainly going to be landing on your shock towers, so those are what's going to take the beating, but the wingman also takes a beating too, especially, you know, if another car, um, I run on an A-scale track, so I have to be aware of the monstrous Nitro 8-scale buggies landing on top of my car. And with these, you don't have to worry about them bending, because they're a lot more durable, they're not going to, you know, snap off or anything. But, um, yeah. So, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.